What's going on YouTube family? First off, I want to wish you guys a happy new year's. I'm all dressed up and get ready to head out. So I'm actually filming this on my iPhone. I didn't have time to set up my camera and everything. I wanted to give you guys an update of currently what's going on with Dodge and the soldier that actually lost his car. Now I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that's watching this and everybody that's tagged, hit them up on Twitter, Instagram, messaged them, called them. Also another huge shout out to TK Garage, uh, OC Motivator, and uh, Butters, the guy that originally dropped the video. I'm so happy to see the automotive YouTube group actually get together and do something positive to help somebody in need. And what this Dodge dealership did, like I said, is absolutely disgusting, should never happen, not only to a serviceman, but also to a regular customer. It's very important that dealerships get held accountable for stuff like this. Now, I'm hoping that basically people treat Mac, Heike, or Hayek, or whatever the hell they're, they're called, as the Bud Light of car dealerships. I hope people stop buying cars at this dealerships. The reason why is because they've had more than enough time to actually make this situation correct. They saw Butter's video, I'm sure they saw mine, TK's, uh, OC Motivator, a bunch of other people, and they didn't step up and do anything. Instead, Dodge actually stepped up, and from what I was told, this is third party, that the actual CEO of Dodge, Tim uh, Kunis, or Kunis, apologize if I mispronounce your name, reached out to the soldier literally by himself and told him that he was going to make it right. Not sure how. Supposedly the Dodge run is ended when it comes to the Demon. Maybe they'll give him a special allocation, which will be great. I think they should because that will make the car even more rare and more special, and hopefully this soldier gets something out of all this headache and grief. But the fact that the CEO of Dodge has to step in to make it right and this dealership screwed up and didn't have the balls or the actual IQ to step in and do something to help this person out. Now they're all backpedaling and telling everybody, all their associates, do not talk to them, don't talk to the news, don't talk to these YouTubers, stay away. All these other YouTubers, all of us have been getting tons of messages in our Instagrams about the shady stuff they're doing from sales, service, parts, managers cheating on their wives with some of the secretaries, all kinds of crap. Now, I don't believe in airing anybody's personal laundry, so I'm not gonna do that, but I will talk about a lot of the things that this dealership is accused of. Now, I'm gonna go one step further. Even after this soldier gets his car, I still think that this dealership needs to pay because what they did. Now, if you've been burned by whatever Mac Hinkie's dealerships, I don't care what city, what state, you can reach me at lucky at automotivelife.com is my email or Lucky Lopez on Instagram. And like I said, I don't want to know anything personal about these people. I know people have their issues. I just want to know about their business dealings because now that all these YouTubers are getting together, we have a voice where we can actually help somebody out in need. And like I said, this is not just for the soldier. This is for everybody. This is all the people that have been screwed over. Because remember, this dealership has a track record of charging insane amounts of money over MSRP. If you remember, they were the first dealership to charge $90,000 over MSRP for a Z06. And they were charging like a five dollars or $6,000 non-refundable deposit and people were up in arms and that got all over the news and they got beat down and Chevy told them, you need to take that off. You need to give back these people's deposits. You can't do these things. And they got a slap on their wrist. And like I said, everybody deserves redemption. You know, okay, they did it once. They learned their lesson. Maybe they won't do it again. But here we are again. It's like deja vu. And so even worse is the fact that they thought they could screw these people and nobody would say anything. So just the story we know, three people got screwed out of their cars. The people that originally ordered that whatever triple nickel uh, Dodge Demon, the guy that bought it, the other guy that drove eight hours to get it, that bought the soldier's car, and the soldier itself. And that's just what we know of. Now in my Instagram feeds, I have literally 70 stories of people telling me how they got burned by these dealerships all across the United States. So like I said, I'm just gathering data and I wanna do fact checking because I don't wanna throw anything out here unless it's actually been proven. Because like I said, my channel is all about being impartial. I've never ever outed a dealership. I never called anybody else by name. You can literally go back in all my videos and see, but this dealership took it too far. And the fact that I was just watching Butter's video and I noticed that he said something that was kind of funny. He said that the GM of the Houston dealership, I won't mention his name, called Butters a third-rate YouTuber. Now, uh, this message is directly to this GM. Now, Butters is probably the only person that approached this from a level of professionalism that unfortunately got away from me, uh, TK, and a few other guys. Because to be honest with you, if I was talking to you 
uh, being the ass clown that you are, I would have told you you're a fucking moron and you deserve to get fired. Now, hopefully I get to see you guys at NADA here in Vegas. I'd love to sit down and have a civilized chat with you and talk about how the automotive industry works, but I'm sure you guys won't do that. But calling him that was bullshit. And so now I'm going to call you out as well. If you want to send me a shitty DM or if you want to uh, say something stupid in my comments, please do. I will be all over it. And, you know, on top of that, I don't mind spending a bunch of money to fly to Houston, hire a camera crew and hang out in front of your dealership all day long because what you did was past the line. Not only as a dealer, because like I said, if you guys don't know my channel, I am an actual dealer. And what they did gives dealerships a bad name. So that pissed me off a lot. But then also the fact that he screwed a service member and multiple customers, and this is a proven track record, just set my ass on fire. So these ass clowns need to learn the hard lesson, unfortunately. So shout out to Butters for being a much better man than me. You know, TK used a lot more colorful languages in his videos, but it takes a lot for me to get pissed off and upset and actually say something. And the fact that you guys have got me making a video on my iPhone in the middle of New Year's Eve just shows you how bad this is getting. And don't think this is gonna stop because what you did and the fact that you refuse to apologize makes it even worse. Now, like I said, I owned a dealership. I know when my sales guys do something wrong, my finance manager, um, even my uh, service department, as the GM, it's your job to say, I'm sorry and take care of it. Saying you're sorry doesn't mean that you personally did anything bad, but it's the fact that you're taking ownership of the problem. Look, folks, I'm so sorry this happened. You know, let's see if we can make this thing right. 90% of my time of being an owner and a GM at a dealership is literally taking care of problems. And I'm sure you know that. But the fact that you refuse to say you're sorry for some comments calling the soldier fake, calling the customer fake, this fake, your whatever else, all this stuff, I can't even tell because all the comments have been changed and edited seven times over is not cool. Like I said, somebody needs to be held accountable. Now, like I said, that gentleman doesn't deserve to get fired. We just need to hear him say sorry. But the ass clown that is the GM, the finance manager, and the sales guy at the Mississippi dealership that screwed over the uh, actual service member, those guys need to get fired because what they did, like I said, was just horrendous. The fact that they literally screwed a soldier out of his car and supposedly the GM is a Marine. Why would you hurt somebody else? Like I'm in the Army and I'll be honest with you, I was in the Army National Guard. I wasn't even full-time Army. And I feel some sort of kinship to the soldier. I've had family, friends, and other people deployed, and I know how shitty it is. So the fact that if you're a soldier and you let this guy get away with it means you're a bigger piece of shit than what everybody thinks you are. And so I'm not going to call on your service record. TK did all that crap. Like I said, all I want is just this guy to get taken care of. And unfortunately, Dodge had to step in to do that because this dealership, this auto group, didn't have the balls or the intelligence to actually do the right thing. And that's the only reason why I'm making this video and talking shit right now is because, like I said, I've had to eat a lot of crow with doing dumb shit. And having this YouTube channel, you guys think it's fun games. All I hear is stealership, dealers are assholes, dealers are jerks. And even in my comments, some people call me an asshole for being a dealer. And I cannot get mad at them because they see shit like this happen. And now, like I said, unfortunately, I am guilt by association. Everybody thinks that dealers are a bunch of scumbag assholes that would step on their grandmother's throat for a dollar. And unfortunately, Mac, Heike, Hinky, whatever, is proving this time and time again that dealerships are actually like this. But anyways... First off, once again, I want to thank everybody that commented, liked, subscribed, called them, whatever else. You know, it was because of you guys. You know, this soldier is getting taken care of by Dodge. Also, to all the automotive YouTubers that decided to take time out of their day to make these videos because this stuff's not free, it's not cheap, and it's not easy. Um, Butters with the original video, TK with taking uh, the uh, French lessons up to a next level when it comes to uh, telling these dealers where to stick it. Um, OC Motivation or Motivator, I'm, I apologize if I mispronounce the channel, and uh, a few of these other smaller channels. I'm starting to see this is starting to become a trend. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for banding together to help a complete stranger. This is what we need, and hopefully stuff like this continues Continues, which will set the automotive industry in the right pace of 2024. So I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Please be safe out there. Be careful and we'll see you in 2024.